My name is Elisa Mize. I'm the development officer. So NAM is the National Association of Music Merchants. We're one of the largest trade shows in the world. And um, anyone who buys, sells, or makes music, it's an incredible trade show operation. The Museum of Making Music is a 501c3, and it's part of our NAM Foundation. Um, and the museum is a vibrant local museum. Um, that uh, serves about 80,000 people a year and um, introduces people at all skill levels to uh, instruments and music making and um, the rich history of, of making music. Our museum's entirely inside. And when we were looking for a uh, interactive floor piano, we wanted something that was going to be extremely durable with thousands of people coming through here a year. The um, other floor pianos that we saw on the market um, did not, you know, we we were worried about the durability of them. So that was something that um, impressed us uh, with your company. And, and that's why we decided to go with this particular product. We knew that typically it was made for outdoor use, but um, with our high volume um, for us, um, we felt like it would be a safe bet in terms of that usage. One more time, ready? One, two, three, go. Damn, man. Oh, Kiss it, Pai Kui, huh? I know I'm cheating a little bit, but. So the piano's in an interactive gallery, and so our museum has different galleries throughout where you can learn things from digital rails, pick up instruments and play, um, experience um, how instruments are made through footage, things like that, oral histories. And um, our museum culminates in a really large interactive area uh, with hundreds and hundreds of instruments and uh, the, our floor piano is in our interactive area. It's been really um, actually uh, kind of surprising for us. We thought it would be more um, real little kids and maybe teenage age and it's been all ages um, have had fun uh, jumping on there. It's been really neat for intergenerational bonding and we've also had quite a few experiences with um, children uh, with special needs um, feeling a lot of success uh, with the floor piano. So being able to get up and hear that sound and, and um, stomp a foot in confidence, um, as well as children who um, have uh, really active energy levels. You know, some children can want to pick up a guitar and play quietly, and some children want to experience sound, um, you know, through a higher end activity um, in terms of energy level. So it's been really great to kind of balance out, let kids get out their wiggles, have some fun, um, really get introduced to different sounds through the floor piano, um, and then be able to also experience hands-on instruments, um, other instruments as well. We were really impressed with Percussion Play's ability to um, work with us when it came to the look of the instrument in an indoor setting. We initially were, you know, we had purchased it and then there was some trepidation around the metal surround on the piano and how that would look in a museum environment or an indoor environment. Um, and the team there went over and above in terms of powder coating that black, uh, working within our same pricing, really thinking creatively about the look, not just um, the product. And for us, that that level of customer service, you know, they're expensive instruments. Uh, we we knew it. You know, we wanted to invest in in that instrument, but it was a lot for us to afford. But at the same time. The level of customer service we felt was just bar none, and we, we couldn't have got that anywhere else. Um, also, just the level of care it was shipped with was impressive to us. We deal with instruments all the time, but, um, you know, not everybody does. And uh, we felt that there was just a, a really great customer service from beginning until we got that product. And we were on a really tight timeline, um, really almost an impossible timeline and the team there made it happen. And so um, all of those made us really impressed with the company. One more time, ready? One, two, three, go. Jump, jump, jump.